Let's paint the town blue. Idle science vessel. How the hell does that happen? Might have gotten some enemies popped into the system that it was in. You might also have been like me, where you forgot that they did things for a while and just kind of left them. Well, nah, could well be too. their scientist seems to have died, so that could be part of the problem. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure those things are automated. <laughs> There's a lot of reserves on this one planet. It is going to take a while. It's been a while. Been a while. Like there, there, there are eight regiments fighting, and the rest of them are just you know sitting around playing Nintendo, munching on cheesy poofs. It's like, yeah, call call us when one of you guys dies, and we'll 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 get in. But uh, otherwise, we're just going to sit here. I don't think I have the energy to figure out which systems are still up for grabs. It says that Surf, I cannot Surf land Topia's, armies because Surf there's no armies taken, in orbit. Surftopia is taking second place again, probably on the blood of the human soldiers. Well, not human soldiers. They were like uh, genetically engineered monster <laughs> soldiers, but they were under human command and they took those planets. Are you trying to land with multiple armies at one time, Surf? No, it was just the one, but... They just took a long time to realize what they were doing. I think they were trying to land, but then I could still select them to give them commands. So I was like, land here. And they were like, uh, we're not in orbit. We're halfway to the planet. Hmm. Could be. I do not know. I think the problem is I don't know who we're at war with. Because there's a golden compact. I thought we were at war with them, but we're not. We are at war with the... Righteous Quantum Compact. Quantum. Yeah. We're at war with the Righteous Brothers. Hey, I'm losing energy on turns now. You might want to do something about that. Just an idea. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, you I'm can like, just sell I'm, some stuff. Yeah, I'm the, like, I'm uh, making market. so much other stuff that. Mm. Well, no, I mean, just set up like a, a monthly trade or something. Or I can lower the amount of food I'm buying every month now that I have all these new planets. Human Star Republic has a has completed a gateway. Yeah, that's right. What? And you guys are in trouble. This is unacceptable. So how would you guys even get here if I wanted you to come here? It would take you a long ass time. <laughs> you would almost hit turtles or somebody is going to take over before you get there, but I got nothing else for you to do, so... I mean, Wait. we can help out the rest of us in finishing the war. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing is, I now I'm, I'm really dispirited about the fact that I took over this planet and Zerfall took over like a space station and he got the system. Yeah. Listen, uh, that's called putting an earmark on it, and you're coming back later with your armies. <laughs> I mean, I'm taking over stuff for your vassal. Uh, no, it's fine. I, I'm just, I'm really ready for the end game price. <laughs> if you but, took over whatever planet is in uh, Theramora and Ra'ak, uh, they're earmarked to go to you when they get taken over. Theramora and Ra'ak. They're uh, on the left of the most area of the war we're on. The leftmost area? She's in there. Who's this? Terrapins. <laughs> thought I already what? had these systems. Oh, these guys know, aren't even at war. They're just uh, uh, jerks. <laughs> They're just jerks. The mini Connet. No idea what you're even talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I am lost. There is another Connet. It's called. 
the Conate. new uh, Glan Larv Rev Conet. <laughs> this is not clarifying things at all. <laughs> right, no, yeah, the new Glan Larv Conet, yeah. I changed the way you pronounce that name. You really space out the syllables and say the R twice. Anyways, they're not in the war. Yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah. Well, I don't know why. And these guys are in the war too. How come I couldn't attack them before? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, maybe because they, some of them are, are like, Terabellium, the, the system Terabellium. Is that what you're looking at or? I don't know. I don't know where I am anymore or what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick to the stuff that's working. Hmm. Because, like, I've taken over Terabellium for uh, JG's vassal right there. Man. I was trying to... I'm like, I'm connected to that. I'm going to take it over. Maybe they have a claim to it. That could happen, too. I can't make claims anymore because I was like, hey, I can get more bonus points by not making claims and we just go into total wars now anyways. <laughs> Well, if you do have a claim on something that d would guarantee that it would go to you... I know, but it feels cheap. It is kind of. Mm. It's also expensive. It yeah, is kind of that, too. <laughs> Spend a Wait, bunch of I, influence. Which is the reason that you guys are having me declare total war, I thought. But, no. Okay. Last time we tried to do something about the total war it didn't go that well. It's like, oh man, we have to achieve specific objectives, and they're we have really, to do really, stuff really poorly to find. Man, let's get out of here. I'm gonna forget this. I feel like unused naval capacity should count towards your uh, star base capacity. <laughs> the Ixildar Star Collective is insulting me. Our metal no, network no. is vast, giving us access to thoughts and ideas from every corner of Rampart, but not a single entity has ever seen anything that would lend merit to your tragic existence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll eat them eventually. I know, I'm just like, geez, guys, I, I guess you're just getting in your shots while you can. Oh, you're gonna change your tune. Promise you that. Mm. No gear. Enemy planet secured. End of the Zadrin Commerce League. Got him. Construction complete. <laughs> Construction complete. Construction complete. As the universe gradually gets more light blue. <laughs> oh, cool. Now Zerftopia's main uh, collective nation looks like a wizard's hat. <laughs> it's the sorting hat. Yeah. That's why, that's why we'll breed with anybody. Uh, <laughs> you would do well as a Slytherin. Why has it taken so long to defeat 500 garrison strength? Uh, yeah, Seriously. it's not like there's 300 of them. I mean, I got 16k there. Oh man, these guys managed to get the best of me. I gotta send support. Get the best, the best, the best, the best of you. Neptune habitat has finally been settled. So is Mars. Oh, no, they haven't been. They're just being colonized. I think planet Uranus, hey, 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 by itself should give me an edge over uh, Surf Toby on the score. The very fact that I have a planet called Zerftopia, he he he. Excellent. Gateway reactivated. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
I change everything. And thanks to my uh, incredible sensor network, I now know that you've activated a gateway. And it's only a few a few minutes after you told us. <laughs> well, I'm glad that your sensor network is operating properly. Okay, this time let's buy, not sell. Living metal. Thank you. Now it's time to sell alloys. Oh, now I'm suddenly getting 3k energy a month. Oh, my army damage has increased just in time for the war to be over. And then starting up again. The Ixeldar Star Collective has audaciously laid claim to the Hiram system. How audacious. Like the Ixeldar True. Star Collective. <laughs> They're so audacious, truly, truly audacious. <laughs> Exodar Center Collective is their name. Hurry up and use route this that's taken. fools. And they gotta warm it up. I told him to leave the engine running. Yeah, they didn't want to waste so much gas. Terraforming gas? Because I can sell well, it. I mean, I suppose you can use it for that, yeah. Ah, crap, now I've lost track of my fleets because they all jumped into, like, gateways to get to places. That... <laughs> okay, I see where you're at now. All right, you're on your way. It's all great. Everything's going according to my master plan. My master plan to finish third of three in this game. Hey, it's bronze. We have established a colony Neptune habitat in the solar system. That's true, I'm on the podium. We passed by a business uh, recently when we were on a walk. And they had on their sign um, that they were voted like one of the best three dog walkers in London. And I was like, <laughs> if you say you're one of the best three, that means you were third place. <laughs> the top three. Well, I mean, it's not inaccurate. It's not inaccurate, but it also tells everybody, everybody everything they need to know about it. Pretty much. Third place, yeah. Bro, no, don't don't die fast. Let these other guys land first. No, <laughs> they're gonna die first. Oh <laughs> uh, no, our dudes are disengaged. So the um, so uh, FTL inhibitors are built on planets, I guess. Uh, if you well, they they can be on the station, which just requires your ships to attack the station. Uh -huh. Um, and if you have any a fortress on the planet, then it's on the planet too. Yes. If so the planet the, uh... doesn't have a fortress, then. The Hellvan Nation has like four, four, like four planets inhabited in this system, and all of them have uh, the FTL inhibitor, so they all must have fortresses. So that's fun. Yeah, they're gonna I do that. Take, they're gonna I get to take over the whole system before it's over. But hey, it actually goes to humanity. I can see why the Terrapins, who were kind enough to go and clear out the uh, starbase. I can understand why they didn't decide that they wanted to manually take over four planets for the humans. Well, I mean, I absolutely would if I hadn't had anything else to do in my uh, right other planets. To take. My armies weren't elsewhere, so. And again, I was joking like, "Oh, human blood in the system under Zerftopia." Well, human blood is stretching it. It is a series of like biologically <laughs> enhanced monsters that are. See, I just have clones. Well, and monsters too, to be fair. Monster clones? You have those two. I mean, who doesn't have monster clones? <laughs> I don't see why you'd have any other kind of clone. Because they're cheap? Cheap war goals is still minus 1,125. I think it's going to be that way until we win the war by eliminating literally everything. All right. Oh, 
Oh hey, the Ixeldar Star Collective has insulted me. The galaxy is not your personal garbage disposal unit, Terrapin Conglomerate. Keep your so-called products to yourselves. Mm, they're not wrong. I kind of wish that I had the uh, the mass driver junk bombardment thing on my ships now. Because that would be kind of awesome to just say, Oh, what were you saying about junk? As we pelt their planets with junk. I feel like it's, um, it's time to open my borders to them and try to restore diplomacy. Uh, I think the... start cracking their worlds. I haven't really decided which I want to do. Oh, I think that, that cracking the worlds is the... Uh, is oh, the no, my point. general died. Oh, no. <laughs> no. How are you going to be able to afford car insurance? Uh, joke might not work in Canada. <laughs> I've seen those Whoa. little ads. Man, <laughs> there's scum guy. and villainy on Nexus. Yeah, I mean, didn't you know that? I mean, I knew it, but it's pretty obvious. Come on, I was man. hoping that. Wake on. up, Zerf. How could you not know about the scum and villainy on Nexus? I'm a bit of a sheeple. Apparently so. I should probably split up my main army. I don't know that I need 15k for all these planets that I'm going after. Subtly bragging about your army size, eh, Turtle? Invasion failed. Yeah, I've only got about... I probably got less than 15k total right now. I mean, it wasn't exactly subtle. <laughs> no, it wasn't, no. Really. Humble brag. <laughs> Braggy brag. Let's see. I mean, I did start spitting out clones on all of my ring worlds. <laughs> There's a ring around this world. Time to get scrubbing bubbles. Oh, they've already been scrubbed. Well, that's Institute of Healthcare campaign, just because what else you do? Surftopia will now support the independence of Star Dynasty winning. I'm tempted to support the independence of the Ixeldar Star Collective. What do you guys think? I don't think they're under anyone, so there's no... You can't actually support their independence. Couldn't I guarantee their independence? You might be able to guarantee them, but we also have a truce, and I'm not sure if that would work. On the other hand, I kind of wish that I could close off my borders to them, because, uh... They're just kind of annoying. They're not nice. The AI is just like, ugh. We gotta give them someone to feel like they're a rival to. Let's just make this la largest of the remaining not-dead empires just constantly insult all the human players. <laughs> oh, I actually have a habitat now. Habitat against humanity. Because I took it from one of the AIs. It hadn't even been colonized yet. Call it no humans allowed. Just like the planet. But this one's a elite club. Make it all pleasure districts. Oh, come on now. The humans are known for their prison planets. <laughs> They're traded to them. Here, I have a prison planet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hey, we set up a bunch of prison colonies in Barnard Star. Are you interested? <laughs> Where did the Helven Nation get some ships? Because, uh... That's kind of annoying. Go they still ship. have, like, a star system or something? I don't think so. That might be wise that they were they were... Like, they went into a retreat or something like that. Edict expired. Not on my watch. Yeah, yeah why they, would they suddenly have fleets? Mm. 
Yeah, they sent over some armies and I didn't bother to send anybody to accompany them. Well, I only see them in one system, which is why I think they're fleets that jumped out of combat. Right. I wonder if they have the fleet strength necessary. And they've got a higher fleet strength than the... Uh... Oh, no, they don't actually have... They've got about the same fleet strength as the turtle station in that system. Yeah, and, and a, uh, a fleet has just jumped in. I mean, to be fair, it is Helven Prime, their capital. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I can understand why they might have jumped back in here. It's not going to go well for them, though. Oh, I can build another Titan. Yeah, I've just got I too many alloys, so it's time to start building uh, another fleet of battleships with a Titan. I can build two more Titans. I might do that. I also had 17k in armies. I just thought I would mention that. So. <laughs> if I mentioned that I can build two Titans, I call them righty and lefty. <laughs> hey, we've successfully taken over the planet Ruck. Home of the famous Rucksack. Well, I guess I do have a fleet coming into the system to back up my army, so I kind of forgot about that. Oh, God. Yes? <laughs> no, they, I sent an army to a planet. And at the time, that planet had about 200 armies on it. And then it's like, planetary invasion begun. I clicked on it to see, oh, this would be quick. I had like 700 guys. Oh, God, they've gone up to 1,300. Yeah, they, they tend to they tend to build uh, armies when, when they're threatened. Uh, it's kind of weird. Furious, I don't know why like, they would do that. It's like a cat making his hair stand up so it looks bigger. Speaking of cats, it in is the next about... video... <laughs> Never mind. No segue at all. <laughs> it is about time to call it an episode. So when we come back next time, we'll perhaps hear more about cats. Yeah. <laughs> See you then, everyone. Bye.